Alright, I uh, decided to do a quick little tutorial on, um, yeah, on fun rockets. So, I'm going to show you everything I've learned over the past couple weeks, and I'm also going to give credit where credit's due. Mainly, actually, the only person's advice I'm actually going to be using that I didn't discover on my own first is, um, <coughs> what's her name? Uh, Mrs. Poker. Thank you again for that. Well, first thing I realize, plane is useful, but I did this on purpose. It, you know, I said it's not level. Pretty impossible to make it level. So, what you want to do? Set up a base. There's my base. And I'm going to just set the plane to the front. Okay. Now I have a good working area to set that all up on. Alright. Next, I need the walls of the rocket. The side. Well, there's one. Let's let it settle. Okay. Now, something that I figured out that helps, doesn't help, and a little bit of both. So if you decrease the uh, density of this, it makes it go far farther. But if you do it too much, then uh, it just lose comp control completely. I find about uh, a kilogram per square meter is pretty good. Next thing I noticed was that you need it to be about exactly the same size on the other side. So it's better to clone than to make a new one. You want the inside diameter to be... I know I'm saying diameter, but... Um, you want the inside length uh, distance to be approximately the same as the um, walls. Yeah. There's a reasoning for that. I'll explain it later. Just let that one settle too. Okay, next. Top. This isn't as important. just has to be the right size. Again, uh, I'll explain later. Alright, that's good. Now, secure that down. And then set it front. I said set it front. Next. Bottom. Now this one definitely isn't important. I'm just going to be erasing this when I start the sim, so... This is where I want to give the first credit to um, Mrs. Poker. I like using X just because, well... In my uh, three stage I used one, two, and three, but X works just fine. You know? Now I get basic shell. Ready to launch and everything. Now comes the challenge of what to fill it with. I've seen some people use water, uh, liquid like, and um, what have you. And originally I was doing little balls like this and then cloning them thousands upon thousands of times. Well, that's not even close to the best way. Later, I figured out that you could go copy. It would tell you that you can copy it. And then um, I found this program called Auto Hotkeys that allows you to set up a hotkey. Yeah, so, as far as this one goes, if I press F1, if I press F1, it copies, as I it pastes many, 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 many times. <coughs> But that gets annoying. It takes forever to do anything at all. So, yeah, I want to continue. This is just kind of fun to watch, though. It's going to take a minute. Yeah, I'm impatient. Yeah. Well. Okay, that needs to be bigger. This is what I was talking about earlier. If, um... If the walls are 
approximately um, two thirds as big as the ball. It can go, say, two times as big as the ball it can go through. But three times you're going to be safe. Four times is best. Now let's delete these. Let's not delete that. I know. Connection with another little hint I picked up, just get rid of the collision instead of trying to dispose of stuff. And then make sure to reset it. And those balls will never tr trouble me again. Now again, that works pretty well, but it takes forever. And the thing I've learned most recently, though, is to use uh, a chain. Now, you might be asking, what the hell, are you, what the hell is he using a chain for? Well, you'll see in a minute. And I want to erase this first link and just pause it just to make it easier on myself. Now, I set up the hinge and set the braking limit on the hinge to very low. Next, another thing I figured out on my own is if you increase the density, unfortunately the chain you can't do it too much, and decrease the friction and increase bounce, this actually affects it, so it affects how thick your walls need to be, so it actually doesn't pay off too much, but if you just increase it a little bit, it's fine. Alright, and that chain's ready to go. Now, you'll see what I mean. And that's just about one full thing. Now, where it comes cool is if you can clone a chain. So, whereas before it took me a couple minutes to do this by constantly pasting, I create thousands of balls at once this way. Now let's see if I estimate the walls right. We may lose some balls through the walls. No, it's looking pretty good. All right. Last thing that I have to credit Mrs. Um. Mrs. Poker for is follow. Probably should have done this before I uh, had all these in there. Whatever. Follow object. That way you don't have to keep panning. Zoom out a little just for the the effect. Okay, that's good. And now, delete my stop. And hopefully it didn't just, no, it didn't freeze. I mean, it's just going really slowly because of the number of ones I created there. And that's how to make a simple, fun ro uh, rocket.